Hello everyone, you're welcome to Jam Vibes. So much has been ongoing in Senzo Mayua's case and right now, yo, the puzzle is actually puzzling. As the court hears that two of Senzo Mayua's mother accused came running to the hostel carrying guns on the night and most shockingly is that they knew of Senzo Mayua's departure from this world even before he made it up to the media. Isn't this suspicious? Make sure to stay glued and watch this video right up to the end because I have so much details for you. Before I give you all the entire information, do also please follow Jam Vibes, like this video and drop a comment after watching the entire video please. Now, a police officer who was visiting his nephew at a hostel in Fos Lourdes testified to that the five men who have been accused of claiming the life of the top soccer star Mr. Senzo Meiwa came running carrying guns on the night Senzo Meiwa was actually claimed and they actually told him that Senzo Meiwa had passed away even before the news could actually have it on social media. He was not sure of the time, but he remembers so fully well that it was around 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. when he was sitting in an open area when accused number one, Mr. Sibia, accused number two, Bongani, and accused number three, Intobisin Tube, came running looking so scared. And uh, this top police officer in question is none other than Constable Sizwe Zungu, who testified in the North Houghton High Court in Pretoria on Thursday. He didn't just end there. He as well went as far as revealing that the three men walked into his nephew's Guambini's room. He then followed the accused to the bedroom because he wanted to really see what was ongoing. Like, they actually looked so suspicious. They looked scared of something. They looked like they were running from somebody. When he got into the room, he saw Sibia and Tube carrying guns. Ntanzi did not have a gun and he was more or less like, yo, what is ongoing? Then, he as well said, Sibia had a revolver while Tube was carrying a 9mm. The two men then gave Gwambini the guns for his safekeeping. He then asked Gwambini to give him his own gun because he had also left it in the bedroom. He said he then rebuked Gwambini for handling guns. And he was rebuking Guambini, accused number four, Zipozonke Mapisa, and accused number five, Ntuli, walked in. Now, he said, Ntuli was actually wearing a black hoodie, right? And he was actually on a black hooded sweatshirt and immediately changed into a grey one. That was highly suspicious. Why normally you enter in a suspicious move, you enter in a scared move, you enter more or less like you are running from somebody or somebody is after you and at the end of the day you just immediately switch hoodie. Knowing fully well that these people are actually hardened criminals, yo, it is only empirical that they might have definitely committed something shitty, right? Because who actually does that? The black hoodie correlates with a description that was provided by some of the witnesses who were actually in the house when Senzo Meiwa's life was definitely ended in the most unthinkable ways. Meiwa's life was claimed while he visited his singer girlfriend Kelly Kumalo back in the days in a mother's home in Fosluru's on October 26, 2014 and principally because he wanted to have time with, you know, Kelly Kumalo, her family, he wanted to spend some time, genuine time with his friends, with his children and it was something really beautiful that was supposed to happen but ended up in tears, unfortunately. The five accused in the in the Senzo Meiwa murder trial are none other than Sibiya, Bongani Sandison Tanzi, Ntobi Simkube, uh, Mapisa and Aswan Kanin Tuli and these people have actually pleaded no guilty, yo, they say they don't know anything that happened to Senzo, they are innocent and stuff like that, we, upon all these allegations that are actually being posted already from this cop, right, literally we are actually understanding that at the end of the day, Senzo Meiwa's killer is going to be found, I'm telling you all, before the end of next year, we are going to have an end to the Senzo Meiwa's case and all the culprits who are behind his departure from this world are going to be arrested, whether we like it or not. Senzo Meiwa's family has been suffering for so long, Eight years is not eight days yo anyways i want you all to tell me in the comment section what you think about this i love each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart and do all to take good care of yourselves please